sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Garrett on 18 here, and today in this video is a very highly requested video, which is an update action figure collection video. So uh, a bunch of you have been asking me to do a, a figure collection video, so now... I finally have the time to do it, so we're going to start in the review room here, and starting on one of the bookshelves I got right here, I just have a few of my NECA Predator figures on display, and one singular alien back there, but uh, we have la Laser Shot there, and when I moved, this figure didn't break on me, but I went to swap out the regular hand for this one, and the damn wrist joint broke on me, I was like, god damn it, man, but... I grabbed some sticky tack and stuck the hand on there for now, so that does definitely suck. I'm sure if I contact NECA, they, they'd send me a replacement arm or something like that. And behind that, we have the Scorpion Alien. Then we do have all the arcade Predators here. My favorite is definitely the beige one right there. Just love the accessories he's included with, and his plasma caster is unique compared to every other Predator figure we have got. And then over here, we just have some of my... Uh, AVP Predators, so we have the Youngblood right there, then we do have the Serpent Predator, and then the Masked Scar Predator. So that's just a few of my Predator figures on one shelf there. The next shelf here is my MCU shelf. I did get rid of my Iron Man's and uh, Captain America figures because we have new ones uh, on the way, and I'm just going to replace the ones I sold with those. So what I do have here, we have uh, the SH Figure Arts Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, uh, Thanos, Bucky, the Infinity War Hulk, Infinity War Black Widow, and then we do have Ant-Man there, and then we also have the Marvel Legends Groot and Killmonger, and then up here we have the Mafex Black Panther, which is a sick figure, and then we also do have the Mafex Iron Spider Spider-Man, and so glad I got my replacement Waldos, because now I can display him with the Waldos on, so that's my MCU shelf, now my next shelf here is my Naruto shelf, and whoops, Jiraiya should be a little more up there, and so should Naruto. Alright, so this is just all that I have left from Naruto. There's nothing more to collect as of now. I mean, I can get other figures that I used to have that I ended up selling, but uh, these are just the ones that I ended up keeping. Now, in the front, we do have Itachi, and anyone else who owns Itachi or Gara, I keep getting like a, a, like a powdery dusting over the plastic for his Akatsuki robe and only on the lower part of his robe which isn't good because it looks really weird as you can see it right there you can see it really good on Itachi right there it's all over the Akatsuki robe but I mean it is a dope figure it's just that plastic isn't really that good of a plastic since that is happening to that type of plastic behind him we do have a uh, Madara which is a dope figure uh, next, we have the first release, Sasuke, which I do like better than the second version. Then we have my favorite in the line, which is Kakashi. Then we do have Rock Lee, Jiraiya, Gara, and of course the 2.0 Sage Mode, Naruto. But uh, yeah, they, they definitely need to bring back this line. I don't know why they stopped it. They're, they're such a-holes for doing that, man. I think I say that in every collection video. The next year... I just have, like, my comic booky type version Marvel figures here. And it's just a bunch of different uh, figure, line, figure lines up there. So we do have one of my favorite figures, which is the Mesco Blade on that uh, LCD bike. I, I forgot what it's called. It's a Suzuki. I forgot what company. I think it's LCD Models or something like that. And then behind him, we have the Mesco uh, Doctor Strange. And then back there, we have the Mesco Old Man Logan. And I did give him the... Regular lo Logan, loathing, the regular Logan uh, coat right there, as you can see, he doesn't have the trench coat on. Then we do have the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Wave thing that I was lucky enough to find in the wild at Walmart. And then we also do have the Doctor Doom, and my fiance is working on the capes right now, and they are turning out pretty damn awesome. So definitely can't wait to get that to show what it looks like on the figure. And then in the back, we do have the Marvel Legends Big Time Spider-Man. 
And I found that at GameStop. I ended up just buying it for like 22 bucks. I was like, whatever. Pretty cool looking figure. I do like that color green mixed with the black there. And then up there we do have the Mafex comic version Spider-Man, the Mafex comic version Venom, and Deadpool. And then we do have the Mezco Netflix versions of the Punisher, Red Suit Daredevil, and the Black Suit Vigilante Suit Daredevil. So that is some of my comic booky Marvel figures. And on the very top there we do have my MonsterVerse type figures. So everything up there is SH Monster Arts besides King Kong. King Kong is from Mezco Toys, which is a great King Kong figure. And I think they just released like the 24 inch version. But that Mothra, well, Mothras are all right. That Rodan is freaking dope, man. So is that Godzilla. So that is my one bookshelf. Now for my D top shelves here. And starting on this one on the left, I have nothing on the bottom. As of right now, don't know what I'm going to end up putting there, but the first shelf here is my DC Extended Universe shelf here. So it's mostly Mafex and SH figure arts. We do have the uh, Aquaman movie, Aquaman, uh, the Justice League Wonder Woman. We do have the Suicide Squad Joker and Harley Quinn and Deadshot. And then we do have, uh, all these are Mafex, the Justice League versions of Superman, Batman, and Flash, and really love that cape that my fiancé did make on both those figures, actually. Then the next shelf here is uh, my Dragon Ball Super Broly movie shelf. As you, you can see, it's the main characters from the movie, the full power Broly, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, Golden Frieza hiding in the back there, and then we do have the uh, 2.0 or updated versions of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vergeta. And then above here we do have my Dragon Ball Super Shelf. And I didn't put Jiren on a shelf yet. He's on one of my other shelves in my room, which we'll see shortly. But uh, I think I'm going to add him in here, maybe behind Android 18 right there. I think that would be a pretty cool spot to put him. But uh, up here we do have Zamasu, Goku Black, the uh, Resurrection at Final Form Frieza. We do have Future Trunks from Super, of course, and then another 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku and then the Android 17 there is the Class E Adventure version. And then I have a couple uh, Mint and Box figures up here. The Shoto, Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan and Powered Down Bardock and then I do have a Mint and Box 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So that's one of the D top shelves. There's me dressed as Daredevil and my dog as well. Thank you again Mauricio for that picture. We do have a One Piece poster here. Let me try to get this stuff out the way so I could squeeze in here. Alright, so the next D-top shelf here is just the rest of my Dragon Ball stuff. I did end up getting rid of a decent amount of stuff. I mean, I still have a, a shit ton of Dragon Ball figures, as you can see right there. So I really didn't get rid of too many figures. I did get rid of Fat Boo, as you can see. He's not on here. This is my, uh, my Majin Boo shelf here. So we do have Gotenks. We do have Sayama, and We do have Mr. Satan. Super Boo, Majin, Vegeta, and then we do have a, uh, that's a Power Down or a Saiyan Raised on Earth, Goku, Body, and then that is a custom Super Saiyan Goku head sculpt there that I did review, but I really love the way that, uh, custom Majin Vegeta came out. My buddy CGI Customs did repaint that and, and not re-sculpt, but added some, uh, some sculpt work on the hair there, so it does look more accurate. But I do like the uh, the custom Goku head sculpt as well. So that's the Majin Buu shelf. Next is my Dragon Ball shelf. So as you can see, we have Shenron in the back along with Kid Goku and Flying Nimbus. And then we do have Master Roshi, Kid Krillin, Bulma, and King Piccolo there. And that bike there is from Figurize. It's a Figurize model, model kit. I think it's Figurize Mechanics. It's actually a pretty cool bike. It can transform into three different types of uh, vehicles there, but... Definitely fits in scale with uh, SH Figure Arts. Then next here, this is kind of like my Saiyan Saga shelf. And I actually did get rid of Yamcha because, I don't know, it wasn't really one of my favorite figures. And I'm just going to wait for them to uh, release like a short hair Yamcha or something like that. But uh, here we have the Saiyan raised, raised on Earth Son Goku. We have the manga version Super Saiyan Gohan with the custom cape that my fiance did make. We do have Krillin, the 2.0. Saiyan Saga Vegito with Nappa. We do have Piccolo there with another custom cape made by my fiance, and I love those Piccolo capes. She did make. And then all the way on the top there, we do have Tien. And that is a great figure. And then up here, we do have my Cell Saga shelf, I guess. 
So we do have Perfect Cell, of course, Android 16, the Class E Adventure, Android 17. We do have two Trunks figures up there, two Vegeta figures, and then we do have Goku, the manga version, and then we do have the Battle Damaged Super Saiyan Gohan there. And then on the top there, we do have some figurized Goku figures. Well, that one's Gogeta, actually. That one is Goku. And then I do have a Mint in Box Saiyan Armor Broly there. So that is all the stuff in my review room. Now let's move on to my room where I have a bunch more shelves and figures on display. Alrighty, so now moving on to my room here. Right here we have one of my smaller bookshelves and my last detoff. And then I have two more bookshelves of figures. So over here, this is pretty much the rest of my Predator stuff or my NECA figures as you can see down there it's more like comic based characters from predator there and then above them we do have the NECA original movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set so we have the turtle set of course and then the shredder foot soldier splinter set such great figures man if you never got these definitely get them if you can and then above them we have one of my favorite figure lines actually and this is the storm collectibles Mortal Kombat line so we do have all these cyborg ninjas we do have the Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion, the Mortal Kombat 1 slash 2 Reptile, Baraka, and Goro. And then Raiden will be up there soon along with the Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero. And hopefully they will do Mortal Kombat 3 Reptile, which I'm sure they will. When they do one ninja, they do all of them. But those cyborg ninjas are so freaking dope, man. And then up here we have the rest of my Predator figures, which are probably my favorite, well, not probably, they are my favorite Predator figures in my collection, besides Dutch there. So on the left, we do have the Ultimate Edition Jungle Hunter, then we do have the Ancient Warrior, the AVP Predator, which is a dope figure, man. Then we do have Dutch, the Jungle Extraction version, then we do have the Ultimate Edition City Hunter, we do have the Sinestro Corpse predator from the new york comic con exclusive two pack with him and green lantern and then we do have my favorites which is the ultimate edition ahab and the ultimate edition golden angel there so that's my one bookshelf now moving on to my last detox shelf here let's see if i can get the door to stay open and there we go i did it oh yeah i have some more predator figures here so we do have a uh, from the movie the Predator, we do have the Emissary Predators, and then we do have uh, the two Fugitive Predators, and then the, the Target Exclusive one, and then we do have the Assassin Predator. And that Fugitive Predator right there, the Armored one, is also one of my favorite Predators in my collection. Ne NECA just did a, a badass job with that figure. And then next here, the rest of the shelf is uh, all Star Wars. So right here, we just have... Pretty much random Star Wars figures on this shelf, so we do have, uh, they're all pretty much SH figure arts besides Bosk in the back right there. That is, of course, Black Series, but we have the latest version of Darth Vader. We do have Han Solo, Chewie, uh, Return of the Jedi Luke, and the wrist joint broke on me on that Luke, and also broke on me on that Han Solo, so be careful uh, with yours, or if you plan on getting them, be careful swapping their wrist joints. We do have the, uh, then we do have the uh, Sith Trooper, the Rise of Skywalker, Kylo Ren, and then we do have the Last Jedi Executioner Trooper? <laughs> I think that's what he is. And then we do have the uh, the TR-8R Traitor for Storm tr uh, Stormtrooper, the Baton and Shield one, which is a dope figure. Stormtroopers are always dope figures, you know? And then next here we have my Mandalorian shelf, and I added a couple plants on there which I got from Walmart in like the pet aisle by the fish stuff and it blends in really nice uh, with that D-top there but these are all Black Series figures yes they are and that is a custom Mandalorian cape made by my fiance that are available for sale right now and then I did get this baby Yoda from John Walker I believe his name is on Instagram this thing looks dope man and I also have another one coming from uh, Kenny's Boys Toys. He he traded me one for a Saiyan Man cape, so I should be getting that, I think, this week as well. But I love that baby Yoda right there with the uh, the cup of soup. It looks more like a cup than a ball. Like, even in the uh, series, it looked more like a cup. And then up here, I have some more Star Wars figures. Sorry, I'm stretching my shoulders. So we do have Yoda 
Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, Darth Maul. All those are SH figure arts, and then we have a mix of Mafex and Black Series. Well, most of it, most of it is Black Series. Oh yeah, R2 is SH figure arts, Mafex is BB-8, C-3PO, and then Black Series is Ahsoka. And we Charette, however you say the guy's name, I don't know how to pronounce it, and then we do have Rex there as well. Then on the very top, we do have Darth Revan, and then we do have some Star Wars Rebels figures, and then we do have that awesome Dewback Storm or Sand Trooper pack right there that I got for like 26 bucks. So that's my last D-top shelf. Now let's move on to my other bookshelves. All right, so over here, the bottom two shelves are pretty much like my anime uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and my comics as well, but I just wanted to show this. I got a couple uh, Spider-Man villain Marvel Legends. I got the Morbius one after the trailer dropped. I wanted to get it before his price skyrocketed, even though we will be getting a Mezco one as well. And then I did also recently get Shocker, because he was always one of my favorite uh, Spidey villains. But I had my uh, fiancé quickly make me a uh, cloth Morbius cave, which looks pretty cool. I just cut it in a triangle to make it easier to get the bendy wire through it, but I do dig the way it turned out. And that Shocker is pretty cool. They're both pretty cool figures, actually, and they are older Marvel Legends as well. Then next year, I have, like, my DC comic booky type stuff, and I recently just got these two in the mail, which is the McFarlane Toys Unchained Armor Superman and Hellbat Suit. Batman, which are pretty good figures, man. It's just so lame that McFarlane barely includes accessories. These guys aren't included really with anything to add on to the figures besides that lame cape for Superman and then the one that Batman has. And that's all they have. And then we get a, a card with each one and the the little tiny stand with the peg on it. And that that's it. <laughs> no alternate hands or nothing. Like, come on, man. Hook us up, McFarlane. You want to make us pay a few more bucks do it just add in a few more accessories with these figures jeez man <laughs> and then uh back there we do have the misco 112 silver knight batman which is still one of my favorite batman figures and then we do have the storm collectibles bane which is also a dope figure and then back here we have the misco clown prince of crime jo joker with the dc icons harley quinn then over here we have the rebel tech harley quinn which is a figure i do love very much. Whoops, sorry. Alright, so the next shelf here was kind of dazing off there. Alright, so this next shelf here is a newer shelf and so is the top shelf. I wanted to start making an X-Men display and not too many figure lines I collect have been making a ton of X-Men figures. They just recently started doing it like Mefex and Mezco, but the only figure company really right now that makes a lot of X-Men figures is Marvel Legends, which is what is mostly on the shelf here. So, the Marvel Legends Bishop, Gambit, Nightcrawler, Iceman, Archangel, X-23, Beast, Storm, and Colossus. That Wolverine is the Mafex version. But uh, the, these are really, really good figures, man. Some definitely better than others. And that Iceman is the Juggernaut. BAF Iceman, because I know they did a Retro Wave Iceman, but I didn't really dig the way that one looked. I thought that one looked better. I did buy it used, and his joints are just really loose. That's why I have him posed like that. But that Bishop is a really damn good figure, man. I didn't realize it was that dope of a figure. Hasbro did a really nice job with Bishop. Same with the Archangel. Archangel is a freaking sick figure. Just wish he had some damn alternate hands. And that Gambit isn't a bad figure either, just not a fan of the face sculpt, and I hated the trench coat, because I don't like when capes or trench coats are plastic, even if they are a softer, rubbery type plastic. I had my fiance quickly make her first trench coat, and she did a really nice job with it, man. And uh, eventually, it, we will be putting them up for sale, and this is just a very early prototype of a Gambit coat. She is going to make it a bit smaller to fit the figure better, but she just made it quickly for me because I, I wanted one for my Gambit figure, and she uh, wanted to make one for me quickly. So thank you for doing that, my lovely soon-to-be wife. And then behind Gambit there, oh yeah, and I did also uh, pre-order the custom gambit head sculpt that anthony's customs is making so definitely hyped as hell to get that it's going to make this marvel legends gambit figure just so much better man 
Definitely going to be awesome. Can't wait for Mystical's Gambit as well. But behind Gambit, we do have uh, Nightcrawler, which is a really damn cool figure. X-23 Beast. Uh, that Beast is a pretty damn cool figure as well. So is that Storm, the Retro Storm there. And then this is the Colossus that released before the two-pack Colossus. And I always wanted to get this one because I thought he looked pretty damn cool with his uh, metalized beard right there. And I do love that Mafex Wolverine. So that's that shelf. Then the last shelf here is some more X-Men figures. So we do have the Mesco 112 Magneto, which is a really dope figure. Uh, the Marvel Legends Jubilee, which is a pretty damn cool figure. The Mesco Cable, which is also a dope figure. And I did give him the Mandalorian Cape, which fits the figure perfectly. Then we do have uh, the Marvel Legends Blink, which isn't a bad figure. We have the Revolt Tech. Amazing Yamaguchi Gambit, which also isn't a bad figure. It's actually a really nice figure. It's just, they got to stop doing that with trench coats and capes, man. It does not work. Quit the articulated, hard plastic trench coats and capes, Revil Tech. They don't work. They look so freaking bad. I don't know why they don't just switch to cloth wired coats and capes it would be so much better with their figures man you know but i mean that that gambit figure is is awesome it's just that coat freaking sucks man and then back here we do have the marvel legends juggernaut and that one's from the two pack with colossus because i just bought that juggernaut by itself and that is a really cool figure man and then we do have the marvel legends mr sinister or mr wacko who likes to operate on people He's a very weird character, but it is a really cool figure. So that's my one bookshelf in my room. Now let's go on to my last and final bookshelf. Alrighty, so for my last bookshelf here, this is pretty much my Blu-ray bookshelf, but I threw figures in front of the row of Blu-rays, as you can see right there. But right here is my Dark Knight Trilogy figures. So starting over here, we do have the SH Figure Arts and the Mafex Joker. Then we do have the Mafex Two-Face, the Mafex, Roz, and Bane, and then we do have the SH Figure Arts Batman there. I do need to get the Mafex Scarecrow. I think that would look pretty cool on this shelf as well, and I should also get the Mafex Catwoman too, you know what I mean? It would just fill in the rest of the main characters from the Dark Knight trilogy. So next here we have a few anime characters, and the three on the left are my Figma Berserk figures, so we do have the Black Swordsman Guts and then the uh, the the repaint berserker armor guts there and then we do have uh the the reissue griffith and then over here we have the dasen model kenshin hamura figures with the maroon top and the blue top there and those are such great figures man then next here we have some more anime stuff and starting on the left there we have two of my favorite dragon ball figures in my collection so we do have the saiyan armor broly which just one of my favorite figures in my collection period and then the newly released Jiren, which is seriously one of Tamashi Nation's best Dragon Ball figures. He, he, They just straight up killed it with that figure. The only thing I wish they would have added was the meditating hands and closed eyes head sculpt. But besides that, it's a damn near perfect figure, man. It's better than the Broly figure, like articulation-wise. So definitely get that Jiren if you did not pre-order it or haven't ordered it yet man it's definitely worth getting it's an all-around fun figure then next here we have some of my my hero figures so we have the Mc, McFarlane Shigaraki which has become more of my favorite character since not the last episode the one before it, what he did to Chisake yo that was so so dark man that was great that was so villainy what he did to another villain so evil and freaking screwed up and that made me like him as a villain so much more really love the direction they're going with that character there he, he's so he, he's a lot darker than i thought he was and then we do have the mcfarland toys all might and right here we do have the figma Deku or a Midoriya and I just got my payment request for the Figma Bakugo so I should be getting that very soon and then right there in the corner we do have the Mafex Chapter 2 John Wick with his diggity dog there and then the last shelf here well on the very top we do have my uh, Bandai model kit 
Thousand Sunny with my Nami statue. And then we do have uh, my variable action heroes One Piece figure. So we do have Rob Lucci, Usopp, the Punk Hazard version Nami, Time Skip Zoro, Sabo, pre Time Skip Luffy, which I feel is the better out of the two Luffy figures. And then we do have Portkus D Ace. And I should be getting Shanks very soon as well. But Anyway, that is my updated action figure collection video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.